Stevenson defeats Merchant Marine 75-68 in the championship game of the Buffalo Wild Wings Classic. Glenn Clark with Stevenson head coach Gary Stewart. Coach, your team had a 15-point lead in the second half that evaporated. What did they do to rally back and finish this one off to win the title? Yeah, that went uh, quicker than a New Year's resolution of losing weight, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, 15 points, and all of a sudden you turn around and, and uh, you're in a tug-of-war. But, um, uh, you know, we knew that um, uh, it was going to be a 40-minute uh, game, and and um, we lost some in, uh, defensive intensity, and they capitalized. Uh, early in the first half, uh, we were getting to the three-point line, running them off um, – uh, running their shooters off the line. Second half, they penetrated, uh, and then we got too deep. Um, for whatever reason, we're helping off on the perimeter, and we cap and they capitalized on it. We can always talk about Danzel Wright, who was great again tonight, but I want to talk about a couple other guys. Marcus Dentley with a double-double tonight, 10 points, 13 rebounds. I thought he was really huge. Yeah, Marcus was uh, terrific. I thought he was the best guy in the tournament. Um, two nights, both double-doubles, um, and, and some key uh, situations. Um, you go back to the last night where he puts the ball into the post, he cuts to the basket, he scores a critical layup in an N1. Um, today he got an offensive rebound that was critical. Um, and his defensive rebounding was excellent. So he's um, playing his best basketball at uh, the most opportune time. And the guy who really came on as the game went along and finished at the rim was Mark Terrell, who finished in double figures as well. Yeah, I was trying to get him mad at me because uh, <laughs> usually when I do that, he's, he's, uh, he's tough inside. And um, he had a huge basket for us and um, capable. He's got a great touch and um, really skilled down there. we got to do a better job of getting him the ball. Uh, but, uh, but he could really be an asset for us moving forward. Well, just give me your thoughts on the event in general. You get a couple of wins, which obviously I think is going to leave you feeling pretty good about the event after you pick up wins last night and today. Yeah, I think I, uh, as a coach, I wish we played in it all the time. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we had a lot of things right on this. Um, we now have our longest winning streak of the year. Uh, we finished December um, in the state of Maryland. Nobody has more wins at the Division Three level than us, so that was important to get, uh, get to get us back uh, to where we um, are accustomed to playing. And um, uh, good competition, and, and uh, obviously uh, Medgar Evers uh, totally different than uh, uh, Merchant Marine, uh, and that helps us because we're going to see different uh, styles this week, uh, with uh, starting with Messiah and then uh, working our way into Saturday. So um, hopefully we've got a lot on tape here that we can learn from and, um, and, and benefit from. Well, let's leave with this. You mentioned you get back into conference play and Messiah on Wednesday. Give me a New Year's resolution for the Stevenson men's basketball team in 2018. Well, um, I would say to our fans, get out and see us play because um, we've got a lot of exciting basketball. I think we're an exciting team um, in, in the way that we play. And uh, um, I would hope that um, those out there would commit to uh, uh, being here every Wednesday and Saturday if we're at home. Very good. Coach Gary Stewart, congratulations on the victory and the tournament championship. And Happy New Year to you. We'll see you on Wednesday night. Same to you, Glenn. He is Coach Gary Stewart. I'm Glenn Clark. This is GoMustangSports.com.